What's up YouTube, welcome back to Andy's Vintage Guitars, I'm Andy and today I've got a 1970 Music Master bass. This bass is from the first year of production of the Music Master and yeah, this is a beautiful original finish. It's a Daphne blue, aged in this sort of greenish, sort of guacamole finish. It's a little bit more blue at the back of course because the sunlight hasn't affected as much as the front. It's got a beautiful picker. Now this picker, it's the early ones, have a perloid layer and it's inside. Some of them I've seen them up, but like most of them, majority of them will have the perloid underneath. And I think only lasted for one or two years and then got changed to a normal white one. Because it's a pre-74, we'll have a tug bar and not a thumb rest, okay? It's got a volume tone as a P bass. And the cool thing about these basses is that they were supposed to be like a sort of an entry level for students, kids, um, and in, in doing so, Fender was trying to use parts and not make them too expensive. So the story goes, I had a lot of um, guitar pickup for Stratocasters and, you know, Duosonic and all the single core guitar. And so they use a guitar pickup for these basses, which is true because it does have six poles. And so it's a little weird because if you, if you take the cover off, the poles won't align with the strings. And so they put this plastic cover so it doesn't look too bad. Um, the tuners are quite interesting. Something that you haven't seen before. And then I think it changed in 74, 75 for a classic Fender um, logo uh, tuners. So these are sort of hard shaped. They look like Japanese sort of tuners, um, like yeah, early 70s knockoff. Interesting bases from Japan design. But yeah, like these are the original one. Um, and um, yeah, well, let's go to two saddle bridge, a little bit like the Telecaster bass, the early P bass. So intonation can be a little funky on this, but you know, this is a really light one. And then there's something cool about the first generation, as I said, the pre-74 when the, there was a change with the tuners and they started using ash. These are made of cotton wood. Um, I don't know much about Cottonwood to be honest with you, but I know that they used that timber for the early Music Master, making them really light. It feels like almost like older. They have a dull sound and they do have two um, capacitors. They do have two caps on the tone part, making it really fat. And probably they did it because one cap wasn't enough to give a nice bassy oozy tone given the guitar pickup instead of a bass pickup. Um, they do have a rosewood fretboard with perloid inlays. Um, what they look like small frets, almost pre-CBS profile frets. And yeah, they're, they're a very cool bass. It's, it's the same shape as a Mustang. And um, yeah, as I said, this one, it, that's the original logo. And that changed as well. They did change. They started using those serialized uh, headstock in the late 70s as well. So I think we've said enough. Let's make some noise. Thank you. 
Okay guys, and that's it from Andy and the 1970 Daphne Blue Music Master Bass. Thank you guys for taking the time to come back and check my content. I have a few cool basses coming in, like a 74 Olympic White P bass uh, and a 1994 Sterling, uh, Sterling Music Man, not the Sterling uh, cheap entry level that you do in these days, but one of the early ones with the original high mass bridge with the music. You'll see it very soon. Thank you again. And I'll see you next time.